Hello guys and welcome back to episode number six of my Space Mountain Let's Build. Um, before I'm going to jump in what I'm going to do in this episode, um, a big big thank you to all of you uh, who've been watching the first five episodes. Um, I'm I'm really blown away by all of your comments. I'm, I'm really blown away by how it's um, received and I'm really happy also that there is not just, uh, let's call it... Uh, kind of um, appreciation in the comments, but also really constructive feedback, which I'm going to take into account when I'm going to build um, the final things of this uh, Space Mountain. And um, yeah, just a few organizational things going on right now. Um, I'm, I'm back from Berlin. I've spent one and a half weeks in Berlin, really successful weeks. It was a great time. I had great stuff in university. I will come back to it with some more of my university diaries. I know it's not uh, too interesting for most of you, but for those who are listening, and I, I know that there are a few, I will provide you with some more information of this. Um, it was really great. We, we just visited a lot of exhibition, uh, exhibitions, and the best thing about it, uh, we actually made it to a uh, science fiction exhibition where I found uh, the moon, which is in the dome of Space Mountain, which is obviously uh, kind of log uh, logic because it's the moon from a uh, journey to the moon or a trip to the moon um, from the early 20s of the um, 20th century. But yeah, it was kind of cool to see it there um, in the environment of my university. But uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Um, but it also means that I had one and a half week, nothing to do with any gaming at all. And I also prepared something special, which you will see next week. And I also prepared a lot of other stuff uh, beforehand, so uh, I might run off out of episodes right now, so that this one might be the last one for a few days, I don't know. I try to um, keep to a every second day kind of schedule with these uh, videos, but I'm, I'm not too sure about it, uh, if I can keep to it. Um, uh, first of all, the focus uh, will be now on uh, my collaboration project with um, Sylph and the lady designer, we have to do Winter again and we have to do Garuda again, which is all by myself, it's all my fault that they have stopped, but anyway, uh, we uh, talked about it kind of a million times, we are all just normal people having normal jobs or university as all of you do have and um, we are not professional YouTubers, so I think it's, you know, what I'm uh, uh, talking about, it's it's just, you know, we, we try to provide you with, with videos as much as we can, but there is uh, a lot of things which is more important in the world than this, and so I just try to go back to the schedule as soon as I can, but it will take a few days until we are back to business um, with all of them. So yeah, just this as an organizational stuff uh, before going into the episode. But what you can see in the background right now is that I was completely, and I mean really completely, unsatisfied, is that even a word in English? I don't know, but I really hated the banners I made in the last episode. It's, um, basically they were kind of rushed, they were kind of badly done, which is down to the fact that it was middle in the middle of the night and I just wanted to finish this uh, recording session because I was really tired and I just, yeah, for the sake of doing some screenshots, I wanted to do um, the banners as well and they turned out to be pretty ugly and so I decided to do them um, all new again and the new ones turn out to be really good I guess. Though I have to say um, it, this is also something which the game now kind of uh, shows it's that it's really hard to do banners when they have to be really thin but also really big at the same time. I mean you can do like posters or pictures or paintings really well because you can stick in everything you want into the wall which will be behind behind uh, your painting and stuff like this but with a um, hanging banner you do have the yeah you do have two challenges the first thing is you do need a front and a back side and you do need as well um, the whole thing to be very thin so looking from kind of um, the left and the right of the banner it has to be really thin and not to be like a big kind of, I don't know, plate hanging down from the from the um, roof, which would, would be really weird in, in a way, you know? And this is why I'm actually um, pretty happy about how they turn out right now, which doesn't mean that they're perfect. Um, I might go back to them 
in, on a later stage or maybe after the next update when there is more kind of flat stuff which I can use. But anyway, um, for now I will stick to them. Uh, yeah, f basically because you have to move on at some point. And as I said, um, we are now hitting a point where I have no material left. So um, the Space Mountain as it is um, after this episode is pretty much the version which I do have as well on my computer. Well, it might not be completely true because I'm going to stream a little bit of um, Space Mountain on Twitch right after the recording right now. We've got Thursday, so this thing is going on on uh, Saturday. No, it's going on on Friday, right? Yeah, so it will be a little bit more. So if you do want to check out um, how I continued after this one, you can check out my Twitter. There will be the recording from yesterday for you and from today for me. What am I talking about, right? But you, you I think you got it. And uh, yeah, so basically this is um, the point. Um, this is kind of the status quo where we are at the moment. And I'm pretty happy. Um, so far with the entire build, we are slightly hitting a bear, a, a belly, I uh, don't you know, let's put it another way, it, it, the frame rate is still okay, it's not the best frame rate out there, but it's okay, um, I can still deal with it, uh, you can still record a great POV without doing cheat engine, um, but I guess when I'm finished with the whole version of it, I'm pretty much sure that I have to use cheat engine to give you a really fluid and really nice and smooth POV of the coastal. Uh, that said, um, I have to add again that the coaster itself, which you have seen the layout most likely in episode 2, isn't the final one. I changed it many many times, I changed it, um, yeah, I tried different stuff um, to get in the fake chain lift which is also a good tip I got uh, from the comments to fake it a little bit with the uh, magnetic uh, brakes and trim brakes and uh, linear sync motors and stuff like this which I'm, I'm, I'm I think I'm going to do this uh, though I have to say that it might be a little bit uh, difficult because uh, the friction is kind of bad on this coaster so it won't make the last part of the coaster um, but I'm not too sure about maybe I will I will do it for the sake of real realism um, and also I tried to um, I, I just also um, read a lot of articles about Space Mountain Mission 2 and I tried to get in with the actual speed of the coaster which is uh, 71 kph um, on the top part of the launch which is in Planet Coaster pretty slow if you try to do it with this kind of speed it wouldn't make the rest of the coaster and it would be really slow and uh, you wouldn't notice Oh, you would notice that it isn't the real speed. So, kind of the feeling of the speed um, in the game is a little bit different than it would be in real life. I I don't know what it is. Um, I think if you wouldn't compare it to the actual speeds, um, if, or maybe if you do know the actual speeds of a real life coaster and compare it to the one in Planet Coaster, you wouldn't even notice that there is kind of no similarity. I mean, it doesn't matter at all, I guess. Um, so it's, it's important that the POV in the end seems to be kind of realistic, I guess. So yeah, this is basically what I'm going to do uh, in in one of the off-screen recordings. No, what off-screen recordings? That's so okay. You yeah, you know, I'm I'm going to do this off-screen without recording. There we go. And oh, well, I just saw it a few seconds ago. Of course, because many people commented on this as well. I know that I really messed up with the sign on the on the. Okay, you know. On the scope, on the, I don't know, you know, I ask you what the support thing of the cannon actually is called. And most of you said support, it's, it's pretty simple support. There was one really crazy uh, explanation of what it is. And just give me a second, I will just read out the comment because it was so freaking, I I, I don't know. Um, it's, it's so crazy that people actually do think about stuff like this and... Um, they do also, yeah, I don't know if he just knew about this so well or if you, if you just um, searched all of this, I have no idea, but let me just check where it is. Um, okay, no, that's not the one. I'm just checking live on my phone, guys, so I'm a little bit more quiet. You see what I'm doing in the background. Uh, and if you do not know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the supports which are on the left and on the right uh, part of the 
of the um, tube which is going up, which is the launch hill. And um, did I get so many? No, I didn't. I didn't get so many comments today, so it has to be somewhere around here. Let me just check. Um, nope. Where is it? Okay, for some reason I can't fi find it. That's sad. I wanted to... I wanted to read it out because it was such a great explanation how they... how this stuff is, is called. I just don't like the YouTube app, to be honest. Not not the normal one, but the YouTube Studio app. It's... yeah. I have no idea where the comment is because it's all fucked up here somehow. Um, there we go. I, I guess I... Th no, I <laughs> sorry. I just thought I found it, but I didn't. Okay, no, I found it. I found it. Okay, so now, now I'm going to read it out. I hope it makes any sense. Um, and just to, <laughs> uh, sorry for the l little um, uh, strange commentary section now because I just didn't tell too much in the last seconds. But yeah, you can see me now. Um, so then I'm just going to quickly explain what I'm going in the background. I just um, messed up first of all with the tube around here because there is in real life um, the the exit area, and so I tried to get in with the little exit part over here and this will be pretty much the last thing I'm going into in this to do in this video and um, what I'm going to read out now for those of you who just skipped to this point in the video and wanted to listen it uh, in general um, I'm talking about those two supports which are on the left and on the right side of the launch hill of this cannon which is actually a cannon because the coaster is supposed to be shot into the space so now I'm going to read it out the comment is from DL Fendel and he just wrote, Rudy, the English word is sight, as a gun sight, because you sight the target through it. And those fasteners, which I guess are those on the left and the right, and the sight is the one on top of the tube, right? Right. Okay. Um, and the fasteners could be screws, bolts, rivets, or nails. It is about the part we cannot see, not the head of the screw, bolt, rivet, nail. A nail, you know, is a pointed spike. A rivet is a hot metal piece which is hammered in and expands to hold it as the softened heated metal is hammered in place. A bolt is a po uh, sorry a bolt is a post with a threaded end that a nut is screwed onto to tighten to hold it, and a screw is like a corkscrew that drills itself into a softer material. As for the holding thing, it could be a bracket, a support, a pivot, etc., etc. For a real telescope, it would be the end of a tripod, of course. But the official name for that point on a real military cannon is, and I didn't know, but this is ju I, but I just found this diagram and the others. See below, and he already put in a URL. Um, uh, Trunnion. Go out and figure. <laughs> Thanks so much, DL Fendel. This is a crazy explanation, and not just for the supports, which are actually... How is it called? It? A trunnion? I guess that's maybe the word. Or maybe is it the one for on the tube? I'm, I'm, I'm confused a little bit. But anyway, it's a great explanation, and you should read it out. It's down below the... Let me just check which video it is. Can I just... Why can I just not see on the which video it is? That's... I guess it's episode 4. I think it's episode... No, it's episode 3. Uh, anyway, thanks so much for the comment. And I guess that um, you all who are capable of speaking English right now and are really good, you, you should know what he's talking about. I do know, although I must say I have to read it out a few times until I got the point, because he's not just talking about the support parts, which are called somehow differently, but also about the screws and nails and parts um, to be done in on this holding section, which I also talked about in episode three, uh, and also the side on the um, on the top of the cannon, which are all completely different named, as we have learned right now, and I already forgot it. Um, sorry about that. But anyway, really interesting. And guys, to just mention this again, this is exactly what I wanted with YouTube, and uh, what I'm so happy about. If you are going to to put down this kind of nerd knowledge and to kind of just get in the information and it makes us all a little bit more 
nerdy, <laughs> I guess, um, which is a good thing. And uh, I, I hope that you can enjoy further um, comments like this and, and all of you just go and interact with each other. I'm, I'm really happy about every interaction on this channel and this is what I'm really looking for. So thanks a lot again, uh, the Elf Fendel, for this comment. Great one. And all the others as well, thank you for all the comments. Um, I really much appreciate it and just don't hesitate to put in whatever you think. Um, I'm also fine if you don't like anything because it helps me to, to get better, you know? So don't be afraid, just put it down. And I try to answer as, as much as I can. Although I must say I don't I don't have so many comments that I can't handle this, so it's, it's fine. I, I think I can um, answer to all the questions I get. Uh, so far um, of course I hope that we will be more people on this channel in the future um, no doubt about this but yeah anyway maybe last thing to this um, kind of build in the background because we are nearly finished I guess I can't just see it because I'm too much zoomed in into my recording um, and I can see the the timeline in, in in total so sorry for that maybe the episode is going to end in a few seconds anyway <laughs> I'm just completely redoing this area as I said in one of the first episodes um, it was a mess to do this um, big area and the plaza uh, in front of the Space Mountain station and I really had to do it redo it again and again and I think I will have to redo it again and uh, I cut out a few parts of this really boring part where I redid everything and uh, yeah that's basically it what I can tell about this episode so again Thanks a lot, guys, um, for the really helpful comments, and uh, I hope that you still appreciate this project, and I can promise next week, um, I guess we are about to be ready, so maybe next weekend uh, you get the final video, maybe a week later I won't pressure myself to, to make it, because I want to make a really great video to get you into the position to enjoy it really and uh, for me myself I also want to enjoy this video so I will take a little bit of time to do the final video but anyway the let's build will be finished uh, I guess at the end of next week so just to wrap it up quickly maybe I'm not sticking to the two-day um, schedule which we had for the last one and a half week but I don't know yet so if you want to make sure maybe watch my uh, Twitch channel and my Twitter where I keep you informed about this. So thank you for watching again Make sure to post down all your comments what you just like to say as I said about this project Maybe also questions other projects. Just don't hesitate and enjoy your day. See you then guys and bye bye